Hello, and thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to talk about Benny Chavez and the Chavez School of Magic. You know, I've mentioned in other videos, there are two schools of magic right now that are really important. One is the Chavez School. The Chavez has been around for a while. We're going to talk about it today. And then uh, now evolving is the Mystery School uh, with uh, Jeff McBride. I think both schools teach something entirely different. Both schools bring a very different emphasis to magic, and both schools are essential. Now, one of the things I like about the Benny Chavez story, and you know, I, 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 don't, I don't wish tragedy on anyone. Our lives are tough enough without it. They really are. Um, but when somebody can take a, a, a horrid tragedy, and turn that into something beautiful. Uh, it speaks to the rest of us about what we can do, what we can accomplish. It gives the rest of us hope. And uh, that's the story that you have here. I don't know how well I'll be able to communicate it, but, but it is certainly a tragedy to triumph story. So you had Benny Ben Chavez, born 1901, passed away uh, 1962, owner and founder of the Chavez School of Magic. Now he didn't start his career saying, you know what, I want to start a school of magic. That's not how it happened. Benny Chavez was a successful entertainer. He began his performance career in 1922. By the 1930s, he was doing vaudeville successfully with his wife Marion, took the stage name Dolores. Benny Chavez and Dolores toured Canada, Australia, and the United States. In 1938, at the height of their career, there was a house trailer fire that claimed the life of their five-year-old daughter Ruth. Imagine, imagine, you have one child She's left alone in a trailer, and she's burned to death. Human tragedy beyond the spell. I, I mean, just beyond the scope. They were grief-stricken, as you can imagine they were. They dropped out of performing. A couple of years went by. They wanted to find their way back into performing, but they didn't want to tour again. They didn't want that experience. It was too painful for them. So they started the School of Magic. In 1941, billiard balls, cards, coins, thimbles, cigarettes for stage acts. 1946, it was approved by the California State Department of Education. Veterans of World War II could study under the GI Bill. 1951, the studio moved to Hollywood, California. 1961, Ben Chavez dies. What happens? Does the school end? Marion Chavez continued the operation. 1978, Marion Chavez dies. Neil Foster and Dale Salwick become the co-owners of the Chavez School. In 1988, Neil Foster dies. Dale Salwick continued teaching and managing the West Coast branch. Chris Jockway manages the Midwest. And Larry Wirtz, the East Coast. And the Benny Chavez School of Magic continues to be the standard in manipulative magic, if you're interested in stage manipulative magic with billiard balls, cards, coins, thimbles, etc., don't miss this. Denny Haney was a graduate of the Chavez School of Magic and his lifelong he swore by it. Thank you so much for joining me, folks. I'm glad you did. Please subscribe if you've not done so already. Please comment down below. I love your comments. Have a great day.